So yesterday, the second Doom Eternal DLC, The Ancient Gods Part 2, was released, and I have played through it. My review and analysis will be coming up for that within a couple of days, but there were also some other changes made to the rest of the game as well. Some of these changes were made to The Ancient Gods Part 1. Now, prior to the release of Part 2, it was already announced that the Holt Slayer Gate in Part 1 would be getting an update. When the DLC was first released, id Software felt that the original Slayer Gate was too easy, so they changed it to be harder, and harder it was. It was brutally difficult at times, starting off with two Arch Vials, sending three Bloodmakers at once, sending two Slayer Hunters at once, and finishing with two Marauders, one of them possessed. I did complete it on Nightmare, but it took me quite a while to conquer it, and I agree it was definitely the hardest part of Doom Eternal up until the release of the Super Gornest Master level. And this definitely was changed. I still think the Slayer Gate is challenging, but I don't feel like it was as bullshit as it was before. The changes included moving the Archvile spawns to be closer together instead of across the map from one another, sending out only two Bloodmakers, and finishing with only the Possessed Marauder instead of another one after it. I'm okay with this change, I don't necessarily think that the Slayer Gate needed a nerf, but it's an optional fight and it's still challenging even if it's easier, so I don't mind it that much. However, it didn't say that they would be tweaking the entire DLC, nor did it mention this in the newest patch notes, and yet, the new patch did in fact nerf other sections of the Ancient Gods Part 1. Not every part was changed. In fact, most of it is still the same. Most of the arenas are generally untouched, but there are enough changes to certainly notice, and these changes make the DLC much easier. I'm not going to go into every change because I don't have complete footage of how it was before to compare it, and I don't want my memory to betray me, but I'll go into some of the changes at least. First off, there are some enemy behavior changes, mainly the eye turrets and the blood makers. The eye turrets stay out a lot longer, giving you more time to line up your shots. Not only that, but you can get both shots off to kill it in one rotation now, instead of having to wait for it to pop back up. And not only by quick switching between the heavy cannon and ballista. They stay up long enough now for the heavy cannon or ballista to refresh and get a second shot off. This makes taking the eye turrets down much easier. The Bloodmakers too have had similar changes. They stay in their vulnerable state much longer as well, leaving an opening to take them out longer than it was before. Their slowing effect also seems to be less effective, it seems shorter to me now at least, effectively making them easier as well. But some of the combat spawns were changed as well. As I said, most combat arenas were untouched, but some weren't. I wouldn't say the nerfs are enough to ruin the experience for me, though I wish that they weren't changed, and I can't figure out a good reason why it made these changes at all. I played through all of the UAC Atlantica and all of the Blood Swamps and some of the Holt and some of the specific changes I noticed were, on the UAC Atlantica, in the very first arena, the Hell Knights do not spawn in the opening battle. Here, the Carcass doesn't spawn with the Dread Knight and the Mancubus. The Carcass does not spawn here either during the fight with the Hell Knight. The Barons did not spawn on the way back through the beginning area. The Dread Knight and Cyber Mancubus no longer spawn in here. The other areas in the UAC seem generally unchanged from what I can tell, but the opening couple of areas are definitely easier with less spawns. Another massive area was in the Blood Swamps. This strip here used to spawn two Barons, one of them possessed. Now the spirit possesses a random fodder enemy and only Hell Knights were spawned. This makes this area much less of a challenge. They also took the tentacles out from the fog areas, making those areas much easier to avoid damage as well. I also had this weird situation as well when the Doom Hunter spawns with the giant tentacle. I killed the giant tentacle and the Doom Hunter despawned with it. I'm sure there are other examples as well, but these are just a couple that I noticed. I didn't play all of the Holt, I just played through the new Slayer Gate, but people are reporting changes to that level as well, such as removing tentacles from the area with the two Cyber Demons on the bridge. There was also this feeling that demons weren't quite spawning correctly, but that could have been me just misremembering, and I feel like there were also a lot less carcasses spawning through my replay through these levels than how it was before also. But again, I could be misremembering that. Overall, I don't necessarily think that the nerfing completely ruins the experience of the Ancient Gods Part 1, but I certainly don't like it. I can't really understand why the changes were made. The best parts of the DLC and the Super Gornas Master level was the challenge, and everybody loves how the difficulty was. 
so why change them retroactively? It doesn't really make sense to me, and myself and I'm sure most of the other hardcore Doom Eternal fans would love to see it reverted. My complete review and analysis of Part 2 will be up in a couple of days, but I was disappointed with how easy Part 2 was. I was hoping that it was due to a bug or something that was affecting enemy spawns, but now that I see Part 1 was nerfed retroactively, I can't help but think that someone over at id or Bethesda or maybe even Microsoft was saying, hey, tone it down, and I can't understand why. It has been pretty good at listening to the Doom community, so I have faith that they will revert Part 1 back to how it was before if people ask them to. I just don't understand why the changes were made in the first place. Thanks for checking out this video. What did you think of the Ancient Gods Part 1 nerfs? Let me know in the comments, and also please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot. And please check back in a couple of days for my review of the Ancient Gods Part 2. It's going to be a good analysis. Have a good one.